Skywatch Media News for December the 5th, 2020. A momentous boom rocked parts of Upper New York State on December the 2nd, after an exceptionally large meteor infiltrated the Earth's atmosphere. The explosive flash produced a brilliant shadow across the city of Toronto, and the far-reaching roar from the explosion created seismic-like shaking across portions of north-central New York, leaving residents stunned and prompting fears of gas explosions. According to the American Meteor Society, the sonic blast was produced by an extraordinarily large and durable meteor, which exploded above Syracuse, New York. Meteors that produce powerful sonic waves are rare. It normally requires exceptional circumstances for fireballs to be visible in the daylight hours. But there were multitudes of reports across the lower Great Lakes region from individuals who witnessed the meteor flash shortly after 12 noon Eastern Standard Time on December the 2nd. Analysis obtained by NASA shows that the meteoroid entered Earth's atmosphere over Upper New York State between Rochester and Syracuse. The object was traveling westward at 56,000 miles per hour, breaking apart at an altitude of 22 miles. The disintegration of the meteor as it was passing above Toronto, Canada, produced a brilliant flash as seen from the CN Tower. The atmospheric explosion over upstate New York was so intense that it was captured by the GOES East satellite mapper. The bright flash of light in the sky was seen by dozens of witnesses from Ontario, Canada, all the way to Virginia. Significant ground shaking and tremors were felt in central New York State near Syracuse, and the powerful sonic blast was heard across many parts of New York State, as well as across state borders. There is quite a bit of uncertainty about the size of the meteoroid, whether it produced any meteorites, or whether it completely disintegrated upon entry. A slow-moving and previously unknown object zipped past our planet at a very close distance on December the 1st. The object is now heading back into the solar system, but is expected to return sometime in February or March of next year. The object, which was labeled as a mini-moon, is officially dubbed 2020 SO. It was classified as an asteroid by scientists who were uncertain of its identity prior to its passage. The once mysterious object had been a subject of speculation since its discovery on September the 17th by the Pan-STARRS Survey Telescope. The image captured by the Virtual Telescope on December the 1st was showing an object with a fluctuating brightness that was spinning as indicated by the circle dotted trail. The object measures between 5 and 10 meters in diameter. It traveled past the Earth at a distance of 50,000 kilometers, or just over 31,000 miles. This would be slightly over 13% of the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Because the object was well within the grasp of the Earth's gravity, it will return again in a few months. 
Previous to its passage, there was quite an enigma surrounding its origin because of the manner in which it travels through space. Although it was previously classified as an asteroid, it moves at a much slower velocity than most known asteroids, which typically travel at between 11 and 72 kilometers per second, as determined by detection systems. The reason for the high level of recent uncertainty surrounding this object is that most asteroids are elongated and tilted relative to the Earth's orbit. However, the orbit of 2020 SO around the Sun is similar to that of the Earth. The object is at about the same distance, nearly circular, and in an orbital plane that nearly matches that of the Earth. It is highly unusual for a natural asteroid to behave in such a manner. Although the mystery of its origin existed for quite some time, new data from NASA has apparently confirmed that the previously unknown entity is the rocket booster from the 1966 Surveyor 2 mission that has been traveling through the solar system for more than half a century. If the data is correct, then 2020 SO no longer fits the definition of a mini-moon, leaving just two objects that fit this classification since records began. Included in this category are 2006 RH120, which visited in 2006 and 7, and the other is 2020 CD3, which was in Earth orbit from the years 2018 to 2020. Objects like 2020 SO, whose identity was unknown until after its passage, provides further acknowledgement that scientists still have much to learn about incoming mysteries, especially those that potentially endanger the Earth. In recent months, meteors and fireballs have been presenting quite a show for all the world to see. In some instances, the sounds of the passing meteor can be heard. A space rock traveling at high velocity as it enters the Earth's atmosphere can produce an incredibly loud boom, a mysterious rumble, or an earth-shaking roar. The large meteor that pierced the Earth's atmosphere over Russia in February of 2013 was not only an amazing display of cosmic power, but it also produced one of the most deafening sonic shock waves in recent memory. Following the shock wave, a number of smaller cannon-like sounds could be heard in the background. As you look up, know that once you have tasted the taste of sky, you will forever 
look up. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.